Hello, I am Marios, and I'm going to walk you through your first query with a Lensy SQL engine. First, we're going to create a table. It's very easy. Create table. I'm a bit of a slow typer, but uh, the, the autocomplete will help me be a bit more productive. Uh, I'm going to create a table named Greetings, uh, and this table uh, will have, of course, its key, which will be string, and its value will also be string. Uh, and the format of the table uh, will be string for the key uh, and, and string for the field. This may does not make too much sense for you now, right now, but if instead of string we had JSON or rather here, then instead of uh, one value, we would have uh, all the fields that the value contains uh, here, right? So I will just run the query and that's it. The table uh, has been created. Now, let's insert some records so we can make sure that it works as expected. So, let's insert uh, into greetings. Uh, we'll set both the key uh, and the value. And the values will be hello world. How appropriate for a first query, right? Let's execute it. And that's it. Our entry is there. How we can make sure that it is there? Let's query for it, of course. So we will do select everything from greetings. And true enough, we get back our results. If we switch to the lenses grid view, uh, we can see it even more clearly. Now, uh, this is all, but uh, since we don't want to populate our Kafka cluster uh, with unneeded topics, let's uh, drop this table. So drop table greetings. We execute it, and that's it. No more topic greetings. Uh, how do I make sure of that? If I go to my recent queries, I will see the select. Let's run the select again. And true enough, I get table greetings has not been found. So uh, that's all, folks. This is how easy it is to work with Lenses SQL Lensing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next time, bye. Have a nice time.